Hey guys, so as you probably know, or you should know by now, your homeworks are going to be written up using LaTeX, and the projects that you do are also going to be written up using LaTeX. So I thought I'd give you a quick heads up, a quick tutorial on how to get started using LaTeX if you don't already know. And uh, I am going to show you how to use LaTeX from the command line using just an editor. So I prepared a directory here. Um, I've got an example.tech file and uh, an EPS, an encapsulated postscript. This is a figure that I'm going to include in my tech file. So let me show you what my example.tech file looks like. This is a bare bones tech file. And I have, uh, uh, I begin the document with a, a document class tag where I set the font size to 10 and I set the styled article. And then I include some packages. These are packages that I, I normally use to create equations, to change color, to to do an itemized list, etc. Uh, include figures, that sort of thing. I use these packages more often than not, so pretty much every time I start a tech file, I make sure that these guys are included. They're not necessary, but without them, you lose a lot of functionality. And then below that, I have my begin document tag and my end document tag. Pretty much everything that I do is going to be contained within these two document tags, except a couple things. And, and, and those couple things are, um, I'm going to create a title using backslash title. And I'm going to put the title within curly brackets. So a first example using slash lay tech. Um, and I'm going to tell the document who I am, who the author is. There we go. Okay, so now I'm in my document tags, within my document tags, and I'm going to start by telling it to place the title and also to include today's date. Now, the next thing I want to do, most likely, is include an abstract. So this is an example abstract. Hope you like it. Oop. OK. Uh, at this point, let's compile this document and see what it looks like. Now, you notice that I just I just ran LaTeX on my document twice, and that's not because I'm superstitious. It's because, well, when we create equations or figures or tables or that sort of thing, we're going to label those equations, figures, and tables, etc. The first time we run LaTeX, the LaTeX processor creates a table of references. The second time I run LaTeX, it takes those references and it inserts equation numbers, figure numbers, table numbers, etc., into the document in the correct place. I didn't, I don't have any uh, uh, references yet, but it's just a, a sort of a habit that I've gotten into of, of making sure that I run LaTeX twice. So now that I run LaTeX, let's take a look what I've got. I have an auxiliary file, a DVI file, and a log file. It's the DVI file which I'm going to convert now to a PDF using DVI PDF example.dvi and I'm going to use the events document viewer to take a look at my PDF ah and there it is title author date abstract and there we are so let me show you now how to add uh, sections so I'm going to add an introduction And maybe I'm going to add a theory section, and maybe I'll add a results section, and maybe a conclusions, or actually let me call it discussion. Oop, got a bit of a typo. Okay, here is some intro remark.
Okay. So, let's take a look again. LaTeX, LaTeX, DVI to PDF, and then open up the PDF. Now notice how LaTeX numbers my sections for me. Uh, I don't have to worry about remembering what the section numbers are. LaTeX just takes care of that for me. So let me kill this guy again and go back in and let me show you one of the most important things you're going to be doing and that is adding equations. So I add an equation in a way similar to how I began and end my document using a begin and end tag. So begin equation end equation. And since we're all physicists, let's do F equals MA. So I'm going to use the VEC tag to put a little vector arrow over my F. And I'm going to label this equation so I can refer to it later in the document. Equation, let's call this Newton. Okay. And uh, maybe I'll refer to it in the discussion equation, uh, um, the, the discussion section. This is how I refer to my equation, which I've, I've labeled EQ Newton. Um, backslash ref, open curly bracket, EQ Newton was first written down by Isaac Newton, although clearly he didn't write it down in that form, but that doesn't concern us here. Uh, so look what I have here. I have a problem, it says, or a warning. It says there are undefined references. Why is that? Because I've only run LaTeX once on the document, and there are references which, uh, um, well, they're undefined. I've begun to create the table which enumerates those references, but I haven't inserted those references yet. So we watch when I rerun this, the, the, the warnings are going to go away. There we go, they're gone. So now I run DVI to PDF, and here is my, my finished result. Here's my equation, equation number one. This is the discussion. Equation 1 was first written down by Isaac Newton, uh, and that's it. All right, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to include an, encaps an encapsulated postscript. All right, thanks a lot.